Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This is part 1 Networking and Internet. Contents of the chapter are Computer Networking, Internet and its Terminology, Cyber Threats and Cyber Security. Our very first topic is Computer Network. So let us understand what is a Computer Network. Basically, a computer network is a collection of computers connected together for the purpose of sharing resources and communication as well. Nodes What is a node? Node is a system or device that is connected to a computer network. Every electronic device in a computer network can be called as node. As you can see, this is an example of a computer network where several computers are connected together and they can share their resources as well as they can communicate. Now let us understand the four components of communication system. First of all, let us understand why do we need this communication system. We need this communication system for communicating between the computers in the computer network. So the four components are sender, receiver, message and channel. Who is the sender? Sender is the node that sends the data to the receiver. Receiver, receiver is the node that receives the data from the sender. Message is the data itself and channel is the path through which message goes from sender to receiver. If our computer is connected in a computer network then it will be called as workstation and if it is not involved in any computer network then it will be called as standalone computer. Now we have a basic idea what is a computer network. So let's proceed. Here you can see resource sharing. Connecting computers through networking allows us to share hardware as well as software resources. Suppose some computers are involved in a computer network. Then those computers will be able to share their resources whether the resources are hardware or software. Let us see in this example. As you can see the three systems are connected to a single printer. Here, if this computer needs to print anything, it can give the command to this printer. If this computer needs to print something, it can also give the command to the same printer. And if this computer needs to print something, it can also give the command to the same printer. Basically, they have shared a common printer and form a computer network. Now, here you can see what is communication. Connecting computers through a network facilitates exchange of information among the nodes in the network. Whenever we connect different nodes in a network, then they can not only share hardware and software resources, but they can also communicate with each other. Like in this example, these nodes can communicate with these nodes via the computer network. Now let us understand the two modes of communication that is simplex mode and duplex mode. In the simplex mode, information can be transferred only in one direction but in the duplex mode, bidirectional mode of communication is present. Duplex mode can be further divided into half duplex and full duplex. Maybe this information is not sufficient for you to understand this. So, let's understand the topic more deeply. So, first of all, let us understand simplex mode. In the simplex mode, only sender can send the data to the receiver and the receiver can only receive it but he cannot reply to it. Suppose this is the sender and this is the receiver. the 
data to the sender again. Now half duplex mode. In the half duplex mode, only one node can send the data to another node at a time. The another node can also send the data but at any other time. Let us suppose this is the sender and this is the receiver. Sender is sending the data to the receiver and receiver is also sending the data to the sender. They both can send the data to each other but when sender is sending the data to the receiver, the receiver can only receive it. It cannot reply back at the same time. However, at any other time, the receiver can become the sender and send the data to the sender and the sender will become the receiver. Now, let us study what is the full duplex mode. In the full duplex mode, both sender and receiver can receive and send the data respectively at the same time. Means, if this is the sender and this is the receiver, they both can send and receive the data at the same time. Means, if the sender has sent the data to the receiver, the receiver can reply back to the sender at the same time. Now our next topic is transmission medium. What is transmission medium? It is basically the channel of transmission through which data is transmitted from one node to another in the form of signal that is from sender to receiver. Transmission medium can be divided into two parts. The first is guided medium. Refer to physical conductors. Guided medium refer to physical conductors that is we can touch them such as twisted pair cable, coaxial cable and optical fiber cable. Second part is unguided medium. They use electromagnetic waves and they do not require physical conductors such as radio waves, microwaves and infrared waves. Here you can see this is twisted pair cable, this is coaxial cable and signal is in the form of light. Always remember that a medium is characterized by its bandwidth defining the information carrying capacity of the medium. As you know that bandwidth is the capacity of the medium of how much information can it carry at a time. Also remember that a signal encodes the data in a form suitable for transmission on the medium. That means the signal encodes the data in such a form that the data is suitable for transmission on the medium on which it is going on. If the video was useful for you, Please like and share the video and subscribe our channel. We'll meet you soon in the next video. Till then.